What's good? It's DJ Thor. You're watching This Is 50.com. I'm live on set, 50 Central. Got a special guest in the building. Introduce hey, yourself. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Jazzy. They, they're calling me by my government name, okay. which is Jasmine Brown. So, yes, I'm in this bitch. Jasmine Brown, where are you from? Miami. Miami. Yes, the uh, Yayo. Little, little Havana? No, no, no. That's oh, okay, for okay. the Cubans. I thought you was Cuban. Oh, yeah, loca. No, oh, no, okay. I'm Trini Jamaican. Trini, so, I'm, I'm even Jamaican. crazier than a Cuban. Oh, even crazy. So, you got yeah. a knife in your back pocket. I got a knife <laughs> up, up there. Up there. Wow. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Wow. This is your boy Vince Swan right here for 50 Central. My name's Mark Harley. Mark Harley. Yep. He might ever tell you like Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you get that all the time. Right? I always tell people I, I moved out to LA to become a romance novel cover model, you, you know, you, but it didn't work out. It so. didn't work out? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? It's Tristan J. Winger, 50 Central. Yeah, man. You made it, man. I made it. You made it, man. You it's made been it. a road. <laughs> it's been a road. Yeah. Hey, everybody. I'm your girl, Kia Roberts. Kia Roberts. Where are you from? Um, I'm from Virginia, went to school in D.C., so I'll be claiming that as my second home, you're and I live Charl in L.A. You're not from Charlottesville, are you? N no. I oh. would have been, been offset <laughs> handling that. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm saying. We got to go out and handle that. I'm from Richmond. Richmond, VA got... all day, baby. Richmond. Right. Okay, we don't say that this is 50 Cent. Yes. Um, what was it like working with 50 Cent? How did you get the call? Man, okay, so... Well, first I had a meeting with BET because they saw some of my stuff online and they liked me, and then they, they had... You. No, they liked me. Oh, you said they lied to you. I speak perfect English. Okay. They liked me. And then, um, and they had a bunch of shows in mind that were coming up for me. And, and then I heard about this and I came back No, I put myself on tape first and then they liked me. I didn't hear anything for like three weeks. So in the three weeks, I'm like, oh, am I not good enough? And then I get that call like, Hey, can you come to LA? And then I auditioned. I was there for six hours. Mm. It was like nine people in there. And then that weekend I got the call. And the rest is history. I'm in this bitch. And you're in this bitch. Yeah. Exactly. What everybody wants to know, especially me, like, how did you get this job? Like, where were you at? And how did you get involved with this? Oh, man, I was in D.C. Okay. And um, I got a call to do the show. And then it was like, can you fly out to L.A.? Um, and do an interview. But even before I even flew out and did the interview, I had to send in a self tape. So after I sent in the self tape, they were really, really um, intrigued with my tape. They were really impressed. And they wanted me to come out and do some um some auditions with other cast members okay. just to get like a little chemistry right. test thing going on did that rocked it out got a call back about two weeks later saying that you got it so i was extremely happy about that right so yeah. before that what were you doing you were you were oh movie? man i was a stage hand okay yeah i was um uh, i used to push roll cases i used to uh <laughs> hang lights i did all the grip work i worked with my hands right yeah man so i was i was roughing it for a minute <laughs> all right so how how did you get this part how did you get this role how did it um, happen for you well, you, you know, I had uh, really it all started. The casting director, Amber Bickham, who runs uh, talentoverstock.com, I've known her over the years. I submitted a, a tape to her for the In Living Color reboot where I did a bunch of characters. Um, and she was a casting director for that show okay. as well. And she really pushed for me um, to get on that show. And, you know, it didn't end up working out, but she's just kept in contact with me over the years and, uh, always brought me in for stuff. So she came to me and said, yo, can you put together, um, you know, some new characters, right. some, you know, I have some of your old stuff, but I know you got long hair now. So, uh, put yourself on tape. And then I, uh, you know, I'm always sitting there going like, what can I, you know, I can do this and this and this and this and come up with like 30 impressions. And then I'm like, you know, I don't have time for that. I got three, you know, that, right. <laughs> um, so what ended up happening was that weekend was that, remember that fire festival that Ja Rule was a part of and it just went to hell. Right. So, you know, I was like, if I make some joke about Ja Rule, I know 50 is going to, you know, it's going to make him laugh. So I made the whole thing like celebrities complaining about the festival. Like they bought tickets, you know, so like Mark Wahlberg's like, you know, I bought tickets that. My kids were gonna go. I'm really pissed off about that. Ja Rule, we got beef, bro. That's not cool. You didn't refund my money. You know? right. uh, just doing shit like that, like Russell Brand and Brad Pitt all having grievances. And I actually started it out, I intro introed the whole thing with Caitlyn Jenner, because I was like, right. who could I, who oh, I come out man. swinging with? I'm like, I know this is gonna piss some people I was off. But... <laughs> Yo, explain to everybody, how did you get this job? Because that's the most intriguing thing people want to know. Like, how did you get this role? So, um, my agent submitted me for this okay and um they were like yeah you just need to put yourself on tape you need to do three different characters and uh you need to do an impression and you need to do a video of just about yourself okay did that submitted it and then like maybe two months later my manager called me was like hey so um we got an offer for bet for you to be on 50 mm -hmm. central i'm like what are you talking about right 
because I forgot all about this. <laughs> Just because right. it's been two months. I didn't know what was going on. And he was like, yeah, remember you put yourself on tape, three characters? I was like, oh, my God. And it was just incredible, man. Right. Because I, I just did not know. So Because I didn't hear anything. Wow. So it was just from that tape that's yeah, what, man. that started it. It's a blessing. Right. That, that, that's definitely a blessing. That's man. like Cinderella's story. That's dope. Yeah, man. Yeah. I have no idea where my glass slippers are. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like getting this job? How did you get this job? Man. I'm sure you talked to my other cast members and they yeah, has, talk has, about has, this process. Yeah, this process. It's, it was a long audition process. Sending a tape, sending another tape, then coming for a live audition in front of like, I feel like everybody that works at BET mm -hmm. was at that audition. And then just wait, 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 you know, kind of like never know what's happening. But it seems like a long time when you're in it and now thinking back, it's like a blink and now it's, it's all here. So right. I don't even like to think about the process other than to be grateful for the opportunity because that was stressful. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> it was stressful. Right. What were you doing prior to this? Man, you know, well, I have a, I hate to sound like this, but I mean, I have a, a strong Instagram following. So, and I was doing stand up comedy already with my, I have an alter ego character who's also on the show just a little bit. So I was, I was doing character, um, stand up with my character before and then also just um, taking acting classes for the past five years so i've been moving around hosting parties and things like that i do poetry as well so i'm just right. making my little move okay um name your top five comedians like, who did you uh, grow up listening to okay <laughs> who i grew up with like who is like behind yeah. everything that i do it, martin lawrence That's martin i love, I love you martin. if you're watching martin. martin you know what and i gotta pay homage to him because they're calling me the female martin and <sighs> that's I a big statement Right, it it Ooh. is, it is. So it's it, it's an honor to to be a woman, and for them to say the female Martin is just, okay. you know, that's just an avenue that I can't wait to just continue to tackle. So obviously, I love Martin, uh, Dave Chappelle, Eddie Murphy, um, mm. Richard Pryor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God, I know. How that, many? Where one. am I at? That's the one. Okay, okay. Well, I don't have the same one. That's, that's good enough. I'm going to step out on the limb and say Martin Lawrence, your favorite comedian. Absolutely. Martin Lawrence. DC, yeah, right? Dave Chappelle, Martin Lawrence, uh, Tommy Davidson, all them cats. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, what is it like working with 50 Cent? Man, look, what is it like working with 50 Cent? 50 Cent, his thing about Fifth, right? So, like, we see him in power. We see him. Uh, you know, with this with this hip hop music and everything and that whole persona of right. like that gangster. He's like the coolest guy I've ever met in my life, man. He's extremely funny, real cool, laid back, is real easy with it. Um, don't eat I mean like you can't, you know, you know, do you take the boy out the hood but you can't take the hood out the boy <laughs> oh, yeah, you know definitely. what i mean so you know you yeah. don't want to push his buttons you know cane and does come out <laughs> so speaking of 50 cent what is it like working for 50. <sighs> it's crazy i mean it's just a dream come true everybody on the cast is is a fan of 50 cent mm -hmm. and me personally you know he's just been someone who i've you know it's crazy like you listen to his music over the course of 15 years or right. whatever it's just such a long enduring you know time span to be a real fan of somebody as far as working with him He's hilarious. You know, I think that's the first thing is like right. he's very personable and hilarious and everywhere, you know, we go. First of all, he's super nice to us, mm -hmm. but he's got an incentive to be nice, you know, where's cast. But he's just nice to, <laughs> you know, he kind of has a persona of messing with people, but in person, he's very gracious and personable and relatable right. and self-deprecating. You know, he's just to, to, to us, he kind of he'll come hang out and he's just one of the guys, you know, mm -hmm. and um, but, you know, one of the guys who can like take us to the Barclays Center in a VIP booth for the fight and you know right right <laughs> um so he's been nothing but but generous and and very kind you know with his praise and it's just really cool to see how his mind works too as far as you know a, a businessman how he strategizes to promote the show right and and uh you know hearing his plans to to launch the show mm -hmm. and the principles that he's learned over the years it's you know you always learn something talking to him prior to this what were you doing um, so prior to this, I was where I I also recur on Insecure. Okay. Um, as Thug Yoda, what's okay. up? What's bracking y'all? Um, so yeah, been been getting my acting on. Getting your acting on. Yeah, man. Okay, definitely. You definitely getting your acting on because you on a major platform now. Yeah, and it's you, a blessing. And, and you're killing it. Thank you, bro. What is it like working with Fifty Cent? Yo, Fifty is hilarious. All right, you may see him do some like scary shit on power but the brother is funny it's always jokes he come he come and he hang out in our room he come and he was like yo what y'all got to eat in here y'all got some twix um two for me none for you yeah that's what we're gonna do <laughs> right. it's, it's, it's funny you did that but i actually need a little more of that because i was gonna ask you to do your best 50 cent impression all right yeah. real quick can we get your best 50 cent impression yeah you get my best 50 cent impression listen here um this is 50 cent right here and I'm interviewing with my man. 
What's your name again? DJ Thorough. DJ Thorough. It's all good. It's thorough. Everything's thorough. And we out here. <laughs> 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 That's right. And catch me on power. Playing Canaan. <laughs> I get that money, baby. Let me let me see your best um, 50 cent impression. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your man, 50 cent in the building. You know what I'm saying? We're this is 50.com, you know. Um, we run here. We in New York City. Um, should we run here with my man right here? And um, should, uh, Queen Jamaica Queen stand up. Jamaica Queen's in the building. We almost done. Or what we about? What we about to do? <laughs> I don't do no, I don't do impressions, but it's so funny because the guys do it all the time. So right. yeah, make sure you ask them. All right, I was gonna ask you to do your best Fifty Cent impression. Okay, <laughs> I'm for sure. Um, what's happening, y'all? It's Fifty Cent here. Make sure y'all tune into my new show, Fifty Cent on BET. <laughs> <laughs> he got the laugh down. <laughs> he definitely got the laugh down. Real yeah, quick, it's because I'm Fifty Cent. I see that. I see that. He got that character. All right, so yeah. it's cool. Let's see your best 50 cent impression. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Silverback gorilla in the concrete jungle. I'm the strongest around. You know how I get down. Watch gangster flicks and root for the bad guy. Turn it off before the end because the bad guy die. See, I walk like Ron O'Neill and talk like Goldie. The bitches think I love her. The bitch don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> All right. That was good, man. <laughs> let, me, let me get your best 50 cent impression. Um, what do you want me to say? Like I'm just I'm just up here doing this little interview for my show, Fifty Central. It's gonna be all the chance, gonna be lit. We come up everybody, we starting shit and pumping off. Fifty Cent B T. Alright, I'll take that. That was that, that, <laughs> I, I, that was very good. So what's so far, what's been the highlight of working on set with everybody for you? Oh man, the highlight, man. Um, a lot of girl action now. <laughs> a lot of girl action. filling up. Hey, not not yet. <laughs> not I mean, yet. I get a little oh, bit. I okay. get a little little girl sliding through my DMs and stuff. And when this show come oh, out, show come, out, come back uh, and interview me again. Well, I probably have a different answer. Go through me. That one. Go through me, and I'll filter. You know, I'll filter all the good ones out. Give me the good ones. You know? But man, honestly, man, just every day working with everybody, doing okay. these sketches right now. Um, just doing these sketches, man, with everybody and bonding with right. everybody and everybody on the cast. We get along with um, everybody. Everybody's great, man. Just okay. every day working on these sketches. Right. I, I can't even pick just one time. But. Right. Is there any encouraging words you can get to, give out to the audience that you know they may want to get into this? Business? Oh man. Okay. Keep it up. You know, I've always been a fan of just being yourself and being who you are. And fuck who don't like it because if you change for people, then you're not gonna know who you are. You're not gonna stick to what you love you know remember why you're doing it remember what why you started you know and then i speak to the women i you know i love my women and i feel like this is a male dominated industry right. and i'm just so excited to be able to create a lane for funny girls who don't have to just marry rich or just lay on their lay around and get ass injections just so they can be noticed and no shade but like i just want the real to come back i just want passion to come back and i i hope to be able to create a lane for us young beautiful black women you know, to just really All right. do the damn thing and be right. funny and be goofy and unapologetic, bitch. You feel me? Flip your hair, bitch. You know what I'm saying? All right. You're learning. So before we get out of here, is there any encouraging words you can give audience members that would like to be in your shoes right now? This sounds so generic. But when I say don't stop, because I'm like the oldest cast member, you know what I'm saying? What are you, 21? Like, we ain't getting in the all <laughs> We ain't getting in the okay. all on this interview. All right. Oh, my God. You're No, but... um. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's never, ever, ever a limit to when you could pop. Mm. Not to say I'm about to pop, but I'm a working actor now, where for years I was working for free. Right. You know what I'm saying? So just don't stop. Keep doing what it, what it is that you love, but train. Oh, my God, train. Don't just feel like, I could do it. Take some classes and learn everything you can, because when you're good at it and then you don't stop, you're unstoppable, because then you get an opportunity, and then you keep getting opportunities. They're like, whoa, you're actually, wait. You're talented, and we give you this opportunity. Like, that's what I think makes our cast so special. Right. We've all trained, and we never stopped. When does this show air so people will The know. show airs September 27th, only on BET, 10.30 p.m. Y'all better stay tuned. All right, that's what it is, man. First man, make sure you check for him on BET, man. 50 Central, DJ Thorough. When you see us, one knee us. Let me pay respects. Yeah. Blah. Uh, real quick, when is the show airing? September 27th, 10.30, only on BET. Only on BET. You know, we've been you know what it is, DJ Thoreau, yes. Jasmine. When you see us, when near us, let yeah. me pay your respects. Respect. Yeah. Man, yeah. Vincent, man, DJ Thoreau, this is 50. We on set, baby. That's Let's right. go. So that's what it is, DJ Thoreau, the lovely Miss Kia. This is 50.com. When you see us, when near us, man, let me pay your respects. We out.
Alright, so the top three reasons why you should watch 50 Central is because it's funny, it's edgy, and we start your shit. Unpredictable. It's new talent. Because it's exciting. There is nothing like it on TV now, nor has there ever been. Edgy AF. Because it is a game changer. Cutting edge, new energy. If you want to laugh, especially late at night, when there's nothing but infomercials and stuff on, you will tune in to this show and crack up. It's just dope. This is the place to start watching TV again. The cast is hot as f We got comedy, we got heart, and we got 50 Cent. Come on. It's the new BET, man. You got to catch it at 10.30, September 27th. Do not be late.